Let's go on Bastador. It's a lobby where if we hit Tiotar or Felbat, we can just play to win. Maybe even like the town guy. Seven it's a good freeze. Between you and victory. Prepare yourself. Wave Rider was better with Atisa follow up, but Doomsayer is just more value than Wave Rider. Cool number one. Always. What are your favorite pizza toppings? I'm pretty standard, so I usually go like ham and cheese. Or ham and mushrooms, because cheese is usually always there. Not pineapple. No. I'm not a pineapple enthusiast. Do not stop now, Commander. Have you come to trade or waste your breath? I'm gonna hold Battlecry for next turn. Maybe I get the quest that requires me to play a Battlecry. Wave Rider would have looked better here. Now, By the way, if they ever want to make Ambassador better, they could make it have you discover the 6 drop first, and then the 4 drop, and then the 2 drop. Because you're gonna know a little bit better what your endgame is gonna be. You have returned. Did anybody think of that? Play Quillbor or Naga. Have 15 minions die. She sells seashells. <laughs> I'm gonna go heavy on the demons because maybe I can still play demons. Maybe we are still in a demon situation. Oh, it's Mr. Bubble Fat. Let's say hello. Victory is close at hand. Not bad. We take the tie. Behold this tumultuous battleground. I don't really have anything to use the coin on. What is your quest? My quest is still Tiger Sapphire. Which is really good if you get your hands on Felbat. The requirement is uh actually the quest is technically have 15 friendly minions die. The reward is still Tiger Sapphire. 15 fair, minions dying is not generally easy, but I think with how I position my delf, it's pretty doable. <laughs> 10 out of 15. Knack for violence. My mission's always right. I don't even care about getting Atisa. I just want to get some good demons from my Doomsayer and then do something with it. Okay, quest finished. Too bad the Doomsayer died early. I'm not sure if I should stay on Tavern 4 and uh, stabilize and try to get Ring Matrons and stuff. Or just push to 5. Probably cannot push to 5 with this board. Let's stay for a bit. Come on. 
That's already a big Hydra. But I don't know, I still think going full demons is better. Apparently, you have a plan. Ah, oh, that was a big ball. I cannot freeze for it though, because it's inefficient. In which city in Romania do you live? Once I visited Timisoara and it was the worst city I've ever seen. I live in Bucharest and I've never been to Timisoara. I have no idea how it is. Just sell free. I don't want to sell free because I want to play to Doom for Doomsayer. We will have enough time to get ball. Don't worry, Chad. Do not stop now, Commander. Give me the demons. Nice. We got triple and we got the ball as well. Fuck. Is the nightlife pool in Bucharest? It depends on the temperature outside. You will find no, I'm kidding, it's good, yeah. Are you on the guest list? You have been paid for your efforts. Too bad we eat the Doomsayer. You have to play the fell bat, right? I like rolling because it's a lot of stats. We have such an early Sapphire with Doomsayer setup, we should just win the lobby. I don't even want to spend money leveling, I want to spend my money rolling. Do not draw the jailer's eye. How many hours do you have on Battlegrounds? A lot. No more Red Bull. I sometimes drink Red Bull, but they are no longer a sponsor, so I don't have an unlimited supply. Feels bad, man. I don't want to spend 9 gold to level. Like, if you spend 9 gold to roll, that's plus 9-9 nine, nine from the Sapphire. Multiply by 5, that's 45, 45 worth of stats. Just roll 10 times. I mean, I would buy a Demon. I would buy a Triple. It's a lobby of, of like just pure stats. So like, why would you not roll a million times? A recruit, then go shopping for more. I mean, after you have like a few turns like this, you can you you could level up. But it is literally just stats versus stats. So I want to have it. Uh, I want to have more stats than my opponent. Plus 100, 100 on turn nine. Do you find the hero tier table useful or it depends on the lobby? Armor definitely matters, so basically the armor tier of the hero. Um, but then it also depends on what lobby you're playing in. For example, Ambassador is much better in a non-Murloc lobby. Simply because... Also, he's better in a demon lobby or naga lobby because you can find the demon or naga win conditions and perform better this way. I could just roll 10 times and don't think. I mean, I don't want to spend 8, eight gold on leveling. It just doesn't feel right. Tripling Doomsayer is good. My premonition's always right. Queen is good. Ah, uh, we have to eat it. If I level up, I can add one demon to the mix. But is it even worth it? 
I don't know if we need one demon. I think we can legit just roll, 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 roll. By buying the Doomsday, you miss a ton of stats. I know. And I don't even know if Doomsday is permanent minion. That's the funny part. Do not stop now, Commander. My minions are too big. True. Let's level. And let's get the ball. Upgrade your tavern. For more powerful me. Better to hire a recruit than go shopping for me. I wanna start growing the ball. This way Queen gets better. And I don't know, there's nothing really to go for other than uh uh tripling fell but anyways. I lose one turn of like getting some stats, but I start growing a sixth minion, which I think is important. I think you you want your whole board to be like big. Starting with next time I just roll ten times or buy fell bat. That's like the only thing that I would buy. Do I not want to roll for Selfless and Baron? I'm not even sure if I need Selfless and Baron. I guess they are also useful. I'll think about it if I'm offered one, okay? I could also just go buy only Trickster, F Selfless, Baron and ignore Felbat. Or like only go for Felbat if I have like a guaranteed triple. Because I don't want to waste gold and have it uh, locked. You know? I don't want to waste my money, okay? But you see... Lobbies without poison are kind of boring. I just go for stats and nobody can beat me. But it's pretty rare that you have a non-Murloc lobby with demons where you get super early Felbat and Ty Teal Tiger Sapphire. Still weird that if I get that I just insta win. But yeah, it's difficult to get. The requirements are kind of steep. To be getting there in the first place. And now we just roll 10 times. I don't even want a second Overseer. I feel like it's kind of a waste. I don't want Taunt. I don't want another Ball. I mean, I could go for another Ball and then triple it and then... Give myself a million stats, but... I, I don't want it. It's waste of time. Selfless is good, but I don't have money to buy it now. Oh my god, that's so many stats. Yeah, I mean, I just go for max stats. Stats don't care about your feelings. True. How does it feel to be the best? Games where you go for stats feel so much better. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Wait, now I can Murozone his Felbat. Why did he have a Felbat on the board? Is he trolling? Is he trying to feed me? Yes. Good. Herr Hans, much thank you for the sub. Yeah, that was kind of sussy, wasn't it? Basically, now Murozond is fell bad. Brand Murozond is triple. Yeah, this is a bit weird. This is like so many stats I cannot even count. Yeah, I want to buy Tunnel Blaster now. I have so many stats, like I don't even want to bother with Selfless. Just give me Tunnel Blaster and that's it. And I'm good. 
Fortnite released chapter 4 and you're playing Hearthstone. I've actually never played Fortnite. I don't know, I don't want to be a variety streamer. I want to be mostly a battleground streamer who sometimes tries other games. Like for example, I'll try Constructed, which at this point is kind of like another game. This is a bit boring though, like I just rolling its stats. It is a bit boring if you think about it. Where's my blaster? It's boring to win. Sometimes it is. Skipping Leroy is a bit weird. Do you really think Hysteregoza is big enough to compete with my minions? If I buy Leroy, I miss plus three plus three. No, I miss plus six plus six on every minion. I'm missing 30 30 worth of stats to buy Leroy. No worries, your next game you're gonna get fourth place against somebody who hirals harder than you hirals this lobby. <laughs> True. Why do I keep the brand? Because the easiest way to make my board finalized is Tunnel Blaster. So I'm keeping brand until I get Tunnel Blaster. Should there be an end of turn button in Battlegrounds? I think there should be, but the fact there isn't, maybe the designers figured out something that we didn't. Maybe they experimented with an end of turn button and they come to the conclusion to that they don't want it in BGs. I don't know. Like, his Taregoza has 20 attack. The guy could have 2000 health on Taregoza, I would still win. It's 20 attack, guys, it's irrelevant. He's barely scratching my minions. Toki died to the other guy. When you have this animation, you won lobby. This is a boring lobby. I want the challenge. I know it doesn't happen that uh, often that it's a no Murloc lobby and then you get um, yes. Sapphire and Felbad.